Good day, my little teacups. Would you like to join me on an adventure? So would I, but unfortunately, this will be probably my least adventurous episode I may ever make. Dear audience, I'm going to be completely open with you. I'm having to record this from my bed, staring at my TV across the room, playing it rather awkwardly with a wireless keyboard and mouse. Now, why is this? Well, that would be because currently I can't move. Well, when I do move, everything starts spinning and going dizzy. Um, apparently I have some form of infection or possibly some food poisoning. We're not quite sure, but yes, that's what happens when I try and move. So I'm recording this from my bed, and we're going to be playing some Binding of Isaac today. So, I'm not sure if any of you are already aware. I've sunk a lot of hours into this little game, The Binding of Isaac. And frankly, I'm pretty damn good at it. Well, I I should think I am. I managed to complete all the uh, lost on hard mode, as you can see. Now, shall we challenge ourselves today, audience? Because I want to see if I can do it again, like this. Okay, let's go on an adventure. The Cellar One, the Curse of the Unknown. Well, I don't like start starting on a curse, so if you don't mind, I'm going to restart. Thank you. Okay. Now, for those of you who don't know The Binding of Isaac, I should probably explain what it is. It's a rather sort of macabre, roguelike... Uh, lots of people say it's a tribute to the old Zelda games, but personally, I, I never see the connection between this... And Zelda. It's an entity unto itself to me, anyway. Um, apologies if I have to take a sudden pause in my commentary, dear audience. It's because I'm reading a uh, stopwatch that I've had to hang off of my microphone. But basically, what this is, is Isaac's mother uh, lives with him. And. Sorry, I'm trying to remember the plot of this all of a sudden. My brain has completely left me. What the hell is going on? Okay. Uh, Isaac lives with his mother. There we go. And effectively, she is a bit of a religious nut. And for some reason starts to believe that the voice of God is telling her to sacrifice Isaac. Oh, I'm dead. Now, the voice of God could be the voice of God or it could be the voice of Satan. It's actually left completely open-ended. We don't know. So... She tries to kill Isaac, and Isaac escapes into the basement. Now, this is where we are now. And all kinds of horrors live in the basement, audience. All kinds. This is a, a very, very, very dark roguelike in some places. As you can see, we seem to be fighting these eye-gouged children zombie things. I'm going to try and stay as far away from the left side of the screen as I can, as I can't actually see the left side of the screen because the microphone is in the way. But what we're playing as here, there's a multitude of characters who can play as. And for those of you who've never seen him before, what we're playing as is a little fellow called The Lost. The Lost dies in one hit. If he is hit by anything at all, he dies. Which makes him kind of interesting to play. It really pushes your skills to the very limit. Now, on most floors, there'll be a treasure room, as you can see, that has a nice piece of treasure and kit in it. And it's just generally a fun game to play. I like it. I like it, I do. I pretty much have actually 100%ed it. Except for the fact that to truly 100% it, one must pick up all the items one unlocks, not simply just unlock them. I have unlocked them all, I've just not picked them up. Ooh, shit. Now, it may seem slow right now, audience, but it will speed up as it goes along. And if I die on this lost run, then I'm going to switch over to a character who's a bit easier, so I can show you all more of the game. I'll be covering this more when Halloween rolls around, as part of its DLC release. Oh, you bastard thing. Come on, come on. Nope. No, oh, I bumped into it. Fuck. <sighs> well, at least I get to show you the character select screen now. These are all the characters. Now, as I said, I have them all unlocked. Mostly, you have to go through a process to unlock each one. Actually, yes, let's play as Eden. Eden is always randomly generated. I'm just going to adjust myself so I have slightly better control of the keyboard. There we go. As I said before, 
Terrible apologies for the, uh... Oh my god, I started with the glasses. That's one of the better items. Um, apologies for the slightly different sound quality also to my voice. Obviously, this thing is affecting my hearing, which means I can't quite do my voice the same way I normally would. I hope it's good enough for you, though. A pseudo over Englishman. Pseudo Englishman. Yes. Come on, come on, come on. I need to show the lovely people what you can really do, game. The full extent of your torments on one soul. Yes. Out, 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 out. Ooh, bastards. Oh my god, I killed Kenny. You bastards. Today's episode will be a quite short one though, ladies and gentlemen, if that's alright. And I'm also going to be bulk recording it with tomorrow's, just in case, as I'm having to travel down to a different part of the country where I normally live in order to go visit the doctor. Uh, I will be recording a backup episode, just in case I can't get back up here for tomorrow, as I can't exactly take my whole recording setup with me now, can I? No! I would be bad, and whilst I am a little bit of a crazy British hermit, I am not that insane. Hmm, I'm gonna use a bomb here. Bomb here. Bombs are lovely, lovely <coughs> devices in this game. You can use them to damage things or break things, and it's just... It's always a balancing act. As anyone who's ever watched the fantastic YouTuber Tear of Grace will know, sometimes you just can't find a bomb when you need them. And sometimes you will have to pass up on some of the better loot. Because you just can't get at it. And it is painful beyond belief. Oh, 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 skulls. Do I have bombs? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Come on. Now, sometimes the skulls can uh, drop you. If For those of you who even play The Binding of Isaac, you might not even know. I didn't until recently. The skulls can drop you lovely cards and pills and things you can use in your quest. Yes. Monstro, here we go. Every floor has a boss. Every boss is different in some way or another, and the way the order in which they come is completely randomized. Yeah. Sometimes you might even get themed bosses, like you get Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Come on! I'm very glad, uh, as I said, that we spawned with the glasses. It means that we use, um, as you probably noticed, we're firing double shots. And it's brilliant. It means... It, ooh, 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 ooh. HP up, tears up, and shot speed down. So whilst our shots don't fly as fast through the air, we've got far more firing out. Cue the end card. Go! Thank you for watching, dear audience. I have been the over-Englishman, and this has been The Binding of Isaac Sickness One-Off. Thank you very much for watching. Please never forget to like the video, to comment, and to subscribe for more daily posted bombastic content. Please check some out some of these beautiful people listed here. Have a cup of tea on me. Love you all, and farewell.